It's going back, and I have a son who just turned 17, plays football, and a 10-year-old son who's an actor. And so I have my hands full with business and uh, family. Yeah. My passion is uh, product design, and we design products. Uh, we help a lot of nonprofit agencies to develop products, uh, help our returning veterans with products we create so that they can have jobs. And uh, so I've had a passion for that a long time, and it takes a lot of uh, keeping up with trends and design. That's the reason I like fashion and design and colors. I love uh, uh, everything about fashion, design. I grew up in a family of uh, graphic designers, so it became important. My dad uh, taught graphic design, so it became important to see color. And I think that was my real life experience by seeing color and how it interacts and, and printing. And, and so that translated to a lot of desire to uh, create. I'm a creative person, so I like to create products and things. And in order to do that in today's world, you've got to have some sort of fashion sense because you, I learned very early that you had to keep up with colors and not let your buddies make fun of you if you called something mauve all of a sudden. You know? I grew up loving fashion, loving to create and mix and match outfits. Um, looking back, they were terrible and they looked nothing like fashion at all. But it was something that I felt a passion for. And so from there, I ended up um, making my college career fashion marketing. And I loved growing with the industry and just learning about the industry. And it really did help me kind of become who I am in my style adding a little flair and twist to things. My grandfather was an architect and my dad was a builder and so I always loved the, the finished product. I grew up in Louisiana, I had wonderful parents and wonderful grandparents and um, when I was in college, we went on this trip, we took the QE2 over mm -hmm. to, to England and we stayed in London for five days, stayed in Paris for five days and took the George, took the um, Concorde back what an experience yeah. of a lifetime, but my parents and my grandparents introduced me to the finer things in life, is my whole point. Yes. And this car is a finer thing in life. What, what I used to do, invoke, invoke a, a passion, invoke feeling, mm -hmm. make people think about it. Or, or try to give them a feeling of, of warmth and comfort. Bring emotion to the product. Absolutely. And I do a little bit of that. I am Cherie, and I work in radio. I also have a background in theater and film, as well as stand-up comedy. So I do a little bit of everything in my background in theater and film design. I, I know a little bit about what I like, how to catch an emotion, how to capture that emotion. And I think Lincoln has really done that with his car. I'm pretty sure that they have. I agree. I completely agree. Lincoln has done a wonderful job with this car. From the sleek lines to the design to the elegance and to it just wrapping around you while you're driving it. Well, actually the car, while being futuristic and, and very functional, it also pays homage to the 50s. It, it has the big car feel and it looks as though it's, it's a mixed design uh, of 50s and today. Sleek, the, the headlights, they move just like the old Tucker did, which was way ahead of its time. And the front of it, it's, it's just very powerful looking. It is. The car is top shelf. I think it, it moves through traffic on its own. Um, so for the, this, feature the line features, it's just kind of the, it's, it's almost a parting of the, the sea of traffic as it comes through because it's very sleek, it's very unique, and it's very stylish and classic. And there's a beautiful dynamic elegance. It's almost, it's like beautiful violence, but it's clean, it's specific, and it's, uh, well in this case, safe. It's violence. It's okay. uh, but it's just, it's, there's no, we talk about knowing who we are and being comfortable with yourself. And that's the beautiful thing, is that it's exactly who it is. It has a powerful shape, but it's not flashy. Well, the, in, in design and, and in fashion, I look at it, the, the lines on this car on the exterior, it's like putting a nice crease in your pants. It's like taking your shirts to the dry cleaners and having a starch. You know, they thought about these lines, the elegance, the straight lines on this thing, so to get the aerodynamics and that just beautiful look on the outside. Everything was thought of, and, and uh, 
again, like I say, it's it's a good crease in your slacks. I love yeah. that both of you use the word elegance because any woman can tell you that you need to have at least one little black dress in your closet. <laughs> this car is the little black dress because it's elegant. You can, you're in the car, you've got the dynamic sleekness of it all, and it's it's something that you can proud wear. And it feels like you are wearing the car when, when you're sitting in the seat. Growing up in Louisiana, it was it was a very different style. Mm -hmm. This car has a, a great style it to does. it. Uh, a masculine style, yeah, it's but a, yet a feminine mm -hmm. style. It does too. have the contour lines, um, mm -hmm. making it feminine, mm -hmm. but it's also very. It looks strong. The yeah. the strength of the car is incredible. My preacher talks about being real mm -hmm. and authentic, and yeah. he's created this word, real authentic. Mm -hmm. And I think this car is for real people, and it just carries on your authenticity. Yeah, I would agree with that. Uh, it's uh, it doesn't compare to any other car. It's not trying to be another car. It stands out on its own. Yes. Yeah. And it's diverse mm -hmm. because it could be my car for taking the kids to school yeah. and it could be my date night That's good. car or a girl's night out. One thing about design is that it invokes a feeling. Mm -hmm. uh, and that's what people are moving towards is that they want to invoke this feeling uh, of positivity, uh, of being connected, of, of being not superior, but just out there and aware of yourself and comfortable in that. And that's what this car does. Well, I think whether you're pulling up in front of the grocery store or showing up at the club for dinner, when you pull up, people are going to take a second look at this car because of the lines and because of the uh, the sheer power that it looks like. And it has gotta, the wow factor. It, re it really does. It has this... Uh, huge dynamic of drawing people over to see what it is because if you don't know that this is a Lincoln looking at it. and so when you when you walk up I think they see that the power of the design and the sleepiness and it's almost intuitive because we all know what to do in this day and age with smartphones and technology and touch screens and some of the knobs are just very basic they're not even knobs themselves so you just touch and slide like you would something on a smartphone or an iPad or a device like that a tablet so it's, it's a beautiful, a beautiful design, beautiful thought went into the car. I think I it looks like, like a good Hugo Boss suit. And it is, it is fit, it's, it's a European fit. It's like there was nothing taken for granted in the lines. And they squeezed it where it needed to be squeezed. And they opened it up where it needed to be opened in all the right areas. So to me, it's like a fine suit. The late, great, just to paraphrase Coco Chanel, to make something unforgettable, you have to make it different, and that's exactly what Lincoln did here. Nothing like being the midday diva at Magic 98.9 and getting to spend my weekends driving a beautiful car like the Lincoln MKC.